Hello everyone. The angle of elevation of the top of your tower from the foot of your building is 30 degrees and the angle of elevation of the top of the building from the foot of the tower is 60 degrees. What is the ratio of height of the tower and building? So let's observe here when you are watching. Okay, so the top of the tower from the foot of the building, the angle is 30 degrees. So which means that when the angle is less, the opposite height will be less. So that means the height of the tower is lesser than the height of the building. Okay. So here, let's see, I am drawing the pictures. See, this is the tower and there is a building. This is the building. Okay. So they both are on the same ground. Right. So now AB is the height of the tower, height of the building and CD is the height of the tower. Okay, so I am taking the height of the building as with H letter. H is the height of the building. X is the height of the tower. And distance between their foots is nothing but D. This is the distance between the foot of the building and foot of the tower. Now, from the foot of the building to the foot to the top of the tower, the angle of elevation made is 30 degrees. Next, from the foot of the tower to top of the building okay so the angle is 60 degrees okay now what is the ratio of the heights that means ratio of the height of the tower and the building so x is to h is equal to how much that we have to find out here okay h is to x is how much that we have to find out let's have a look into this here the angle of elevation right so let's take the triangle here we can say that the building stands vertically on the ground and the tower also stands vertically on the ground right so let's take the triangle in triangle a b d okay in triangle a b d the triangle will be like this this is a b D, this is 90 degrees and the angle at D point is 60 degrees. So the height of the building is H and this is D. So if I apply tan here, so tan 60 is equal to what? H by D. So tan 60 means root 3. Root 3 is equal to H by D. So that H is equal to, H is equal to how much? Root 3 times of D. Right? Take it as equation number 1. Okay, H is equal to root 3 times of D. Uh, instead of taking in terms of H, we can take it in terms of D. Then it will be easier for us. So from this we can write D is equal to H by root 3. So now taking as equation number 1. Now take another triangle. What is another triangle we have? Triangle BCD. If you take triangle BCD, the triangle will be in this form. So this is B, C, D. The distance between B, D is D and the height of the tower is X and the angle made at B is 30 degrees. So if I apply tan 30 here, so tan 30 is equal to X by D. So what is tan 30? 1 by root 3. 1 by root 3 is equal to X by D. Right? So from this we can rewrite it as D is equal to root 3 X d is equal to root 3x taking as equation number 2 so from equation 1 and 2 from equation 1 and 2 in equation 1 we have d is equal to h by root 3 and in the second equation we have d is equal to root 3x so both their lhs parts are equal so rhs also will be equal so i can say that h by root 3 is equal to root 3 into x so let's if I transpose root 3 to RHS, so I will get H is equal to root 3 into root 3 is 3. 3x will come. H is equal to 3x. Then x by H is equal to, I will get 1 by 3. Okay, from this x is to H is equal to 1 is to 3. This is the ratio of height between the tower and the building whose ratio is 1 is to 3. Thank you. So option D is the right answer. Thank you.